of uh, law enforcement that's <laughs> up there today and out there. Are you going to have to live with this kind of... Are you going to have to live with this for the rest of your life? We've been living with it for the last 35 years, and I hope we live with it for another 35. Why do you hope that? Because that means I'll live another 35. <laughs> <laughs> the police are always telling us, the media, and we report to everybody else that the Hells Angels are not just a motorcycle club. Mm -hmm. The Hells Angels are more like a big family. You've heard that. And the Hells Angels family is like the mafia on motorcycles. Well, what do you, how can you, what can I you say? To, I want you to answer that. This is well, a good chance to get that. They're 50% right. We are a big family. And this, I think, sort of proves it. And this is sort of the extended family. So, uh, as far as uh, being like the mafia, uh, you know, if we've got any mafia members, I don't know them. Why do they have this idea? Why do they keep telling you so that you sell methamphetamines right. and you move weapons? And you I'm sure. I'm sure that a member has sold a methamphetamine. I'm sure that a member has owned a gun, and whether legal or not, and I'm sure that the government makes a living off of us. You know, there's ATF. DEA and FBI, <laughs> whose sole job is to follow us around. You've seen them all around here today. When we go on runs anywhere in the United States or out, these guys go with us. We can't even rent a motel room near our run site because the FBI books them up six months in advance. So you would never feel like this. all this police harassment is too much. I'm going to give it up. I'm going to stop flying my colors. I think our famous words are shame on them if they can't take a joke. <laughs> yes. The Hells Angels change as you've gotten older and you've had kids and you worry about schools and property and houses. And yeah, they how changed. Have they changed. How have they changed? I mean, well, you got to remember when I started, I was an 18-year-old kid. I didn't uh, care about anything. Now, I... Uh, you know, I've got a good wife, I've got a couple of dogs, I've got a house, you know. So uh, I think that's just part of growing up. But what we need is some more 18-year-olds with us. Legends on board the week. Right on sunny 